It is fully raining outside. And I'm kind of taking advantage of this time out here at the yurt to kind of watch where the leaks are. Still need some to repair here. I'm gonna have to repair it outside or run another um, tarp on the outside there. But where there are little holes and water are coming in that I can patch like right here, I've simply just been putting tape up and it seems to be keeping the water out. So that duct tape was pretty useful. I don't have all the leaks, but I was able to stop some of the leakage, which is good because it's uh, collecting here on the floor. I'm going to make it um, not good yet for me to put up the flooring. So I definitely need to fix that section right there, which is bad. And um, essentially try to um, stop all this leakage. I don't want any leakage in here at all. So we're just running tape to kind of seal up little holes. And eventually when we put up the grass roofing, it should make an even better uh, seal because it'll hopefully carry the water over the holes, the little areas where there are little holes. But yeah, definitely we've got some water coming in and it's pulling up. But at least the idea for the flooring appears to be working. And we'll be able to lay down the carpet that we picked up, or the, um, the rugs right here that we picked up. So... I think it's going to be good in here. I'm currently inside Yurt 2.0. As you can see, there is some leakage. It's uh, wet here on the floor that I'm in process of laying out. I need to lay out the other side, but I'm kind of tracking mud, which is bad. We didn't really want to track mud all over my plastic sheeting here. I really don't have a choice because we're stuck here and it's raining, so we're going to keep working. But I'm having to do one side and do, move stuff to the other side. There is some leakage, but not too badly. So I, you can see water collection here again, which I will deal with. You can see how there's holes there where drippage is coming down because it is really, really pouring outside. Water is collected on that side over there. I don't know if you can see that line, the water line. So it's good to be out here in this big storm to see how um, the yurt is behaving. Our walls seem to be holding up very well. Um, so that was a good design. And I think the roof is a good design despite the small leaks, which we're going to try to patch. I'm also looking at how the wind is blowing to try to figure out where the windows should go. If I should put some here or just one here and here and one in the center here. I kind of want wind to blow through, but then again, when there's a rainstorm, maybe it's not such a good idea to have the window facing where the wind will blow with the rain and blow inside the yurt. So I might go with the safer design and have it do some venting, but not let the wind blow right through the window. But I'm very happy with um, how well it's holding out. It, um, doesn't feel as scary as it did in yurt um, 1.0 when it started to rain because this structure is a lot more stable. The rain has stopped and it's crazy. The sky is still a little bit dark even though it doesn't look like it in the video but it suddenly became peaceful. A while ago it was thundering and lightning and wind was blowing. It was all crazy. You can see I've started to move things around on the yurt. The floor is kind of dirty because of the leakage. I think what I'm going to have to do, well, I'm going to lay out the other floor. But what I'm going to do is I have some leftover uh, plastic here, this cheap plastic. I think before I leave today, I'm going to try to toss it up over, toss it up outside over the roof to cover the tarp. This stuff's not super thick, but it might help to keep the water from hitting the spots that are um, leaking and letting this water down here, because this is unacceptable. And then um, that might help to seal it off temporarily until I can lay down the, uh, the grass roofing, which will hopefully make the thing 100% leak proof. That's the plan. Um, for now though, I'm going to move all these components from the bed over to this side temporarily then lay down the rest of the plastic sheeting. I wish it wasn't wet on this side because I need to lay all this carpeting down. We'll see if um, we can dry it enough to lay it down. 
I uh, just tried to do a repair job on the leaking roof when the rain had eased up a little bit, but it started pouring again. So it's not leaking as badly now, but it is still leaking. And the only real way to repair it is from the top, from above, to keep it from dripping down. You can see where the water's dripping. It's like dripping right here. That's where water is running down and dripping down. So, I may try to do a little repair inside here too. Um, did a little spot here. There's still some leakage. You can see where it's collecting and dripping. It's not like pouring, pouring down. I mean, the rain is pouring outside, but as far as in here, it's just dripping. So, I think I'm just gonna try maybe one more little patch up here and then um, hope that when I get the, uh, the grass roof up, that will help some more. Not only will that help with the UV rays, it should help with um, the stripping water because I'm trying to make it so it doesn't drip it off. For now though, at least it's not like a constant stream, but just tiny little drips. Interestingly, this side of the um, yurt doesn't seem to be dripping at all. The bed is nice and dry. It is getting kind of late and I need to get out of here, but it is um, too rainy to get out. But at least the, uh, the roof and the walls are up and we're somewhat secured. I just hope an animal doesn't come through and rip up my handiwork here for the floor. And hopefully this will dry out and then um, I can lay down the carpet but, or the, um, the rug here. But before doing that, I have to make sure the roof doesn't leak or we're going to have a mess.